Hey there, it's the one in Boom, and you should play Titanfall 2. You should. Um, the game is extremely underrated, and if you're thinking about buying Titanfall 2, I'd recommend doing it. But first, let me talk about this for a second. Let's get this out of the way. Titanfall 2 is also a little bit overrated, and the people telling you it's it's the cure for shooters, it is it's God's gift to gamers, don't fully believe them. Okay, I'll give you that Titanfall 2 is a good game, but let's be honest, it's not really Titanfall 2, the sequel to the original Titanfall. What it is is Titanfall 2.0. It is Titanfall 1 with a lot of improvements. It's a more fleshed out Titanfall 1. Imagine Titanfall 1 gets a huge update with a whole bunch of new features. New weapons, new maps, new titans, a kick-ass grappling hook, and there you have Titanfall 2. It's one of the least inspired shooters to come out this year. I feel like Battlefield 1 took a risk going to World War 1. I feel like Modern Warfare Remastered is a blast from the past. Infinite Warfare takes Call of Duty into goddamn space. Overwatch allows a shotgun-wielding Grim Reaper to fight a giant scientist monkey. And Doom brings back Quake-style multiplayer. It's, it's a really weird mix of things. And I would say that Titanfall 2 is a, again, more fleshed out version of Titanfall 1. If you enjoyed the gameplay of Titanfall 1 and you genuinely love that game, then you will genuinely love Titanfall 2. But unfortunately, people aren't buying into it, especially after the huge disappointment that was the original Titanfall. People just kind of frame the original Titanfall as another content-lacking, anorexic EA game that eventually has to do damage control with its DLC to get some players back. I know a lot of people are saying that shooters need to be simple and shouldn't have so much stuff in there that it detracts from the gameplay, but yet every time a shooter doesn't have enough content, enough customization, enough reasons to grind, it dies. It's really strange. It's almost like it's factually proven at this point. Titanfall 2 remedies a lot of that, but not all of those issues. You're not going to be getting Battlefield 4 levels of guns and customization, and you're not going to be getting even Call of Duty levels of guns and customization. It's better than Titanfall 1, and it hasn't bored me yet, so that's a good thing. But if you are a Call of Duty fan, if you are a sci-fi fan, if you are a fan of the original Titanfall, then I believe you'll like this game. And if you're a fan of Halo. Titanfall reminds me a lot of Halo. It has the larger, complex maps. Not as large as Battlefield, but much larger than Call of Duty. Interesting power plays. And just like the vehicles in Halo, there is great counterplay involved with the Titans in Titanfall 2. When you're playing as a pilot, you feel like you are playing the world's largest arena shooter. It is a Twitch shooter on a much larger scale, and I always love that. Large scale shooters that work like Twitch shooters, I love those. The 3D movement works to actually navigate interesting terrain, not just running on walls, like actually complex and interesting terrain. And when you're in a Titan, you feel like you're playing a chess game. It's push and pull, counterplay and play. They're firing, put your shield up, they're retreating, lock onto them, you suspect a pilot, shoot a sonar thing out. There's a lot of things that go in. The, the Titan gameplay is very complex, but very, very frantic. A novice player will see all the explosions and the screen shake and they'll forget to put up their shield or they'll forget how to use all their abilities or dash out of combat. The skill gap there is very, very interesting. Whereas the gunplay is easy and intuitive, you aim, you shoot, you get a kill. I would go as far as to say that Titanfall 2's skill gap when it comes to pilots versus pilots is navigating the map properly and moving properly more than it is winning gunfights. That's the easy part. This comes together to be an interesting feeling, an interesting experience, but I have to say, the Titans don't feel that properly integrated. I don't really feel like I'm playing a game about Titan combat or t mech combat, I kind of feel like I'm playing a game that has a permanent support kill streak that drops you a mech you can fight in. They did increase the Titan drop rate, so there is more Titan combat going on, which does equate to sometimes it being too much of a clusterfuck. And if you don't want to just play pilot versus pilot, but you want to stay on the ground, you don't really have that freedom like you do in Battlefield. You have to be very, very skilled, very fast, very elusive, so that Titans don't just immediately kill you, or pilots don't kill you while you're trying to take out a Titan. And that's actually kind of a good thing. You know, thinking about it, it's kind of a cool little, uh, another element of the skill gap. You know, you have to really be thinking on your toes the whole time. My main point of this video is that Titanfall 2 is underrated by a lot of people that feel like they got burned by Titanfall 1. And Titanfall 2 is very overrated by the people that maybe just rejected Call of Duty this year or saw Battlefield 1 for the content lacking, boring piece of shit that it is. I'm sorry if you like Battlefield 1, it's just not a fun shooter, it's just not an engaging game. And I would say Titanfall 2 is 
a very engaging game and I think you can sink a lot of hours into it and the free DLC is always a good thing. You're never really going to be uh, lacking content. I think it's going to get free DLC every month or every other month, which is pretty impressive, I think. So I think you should pick up Titanfall 2. Uh, the campaign, I should mention this, the campaign is very, very amazing for Titanfall 2. I think it, it melds drama, gunplay, and, and platforming together very, very well. Very interesting game. Very satisfying. The most disappointing thing about Titanfall 2 is the player count. It needs more players, so if you were sleeping on this game, pick it up. Wait for it to go on sale and pick it up. Just make sure you get it. If you don't really have a lot of confidence in it, wait for it to go on sale. EA blows out their games like twice a month, so just pick it up when it goes on sale. I'm, I'm sure you're going to love it. And I'm going to be streaming Titanfall 2 sometime soon here, probably after this weekend, because this weekend I need to grind Infinite Warfare to get uh, to a high enough level that I can actually, you know, use some of the classes you guys are recommending me for any of the weapon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you when I see you, I, and, I, and I love you all. You've been great to me. And, and and this channel has been one of the best parts of my day is working on it. Best part of my day is working on this channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you when I see you guys. Goodbye!